Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Keeper RL series. Welcome back, my minions. <laughs> uh, look at look at our force of vampires. Look at this. Actually, let's go through the list really quickly. Um, before I started, I just uh, or before I started recording, I just launched like five or six more imps. So we've got Viper Imp. Oh, oh, I'm missing one. Okay, hold on. Uh, this is going to be. <laughs> just bear with me here. I missed. I missed changing a name. This is going to be Dark Waiter. <laughs> ah, some awesome names here, guys. I love it. Okay, Dark Waiter. Wait yeah, I think that's right. Okay, Viper, Dark Waiter, Zeke uh, from Mr. Pickles and Tea, Caboose, The Harnix, Didis, Dexter Game, Space Elf, Nakanelli, and Jameson, Blup Da Bop. Welcome. Welcome to the keep. <laughs> and then we've got a new cave bear by the name of Jonas193. We have a harpy. I think the harpy's been around for a while now. Whatever. <laughs> and that is the way apparently he wanted it spelled, so don't yell at me. <laughs> we have three orcs. Kairos Blaze is still around. That's awesome, actually. He's he's pretty getting pretty well equipped. Look at this. He's got an iron helmet. He's got a chain armor, iron boots. Well done. Oh, and he's got a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, healing, uh, what are they called? First aid kits and a healing potion. Awesome. Da awesome will. Haha, <laughs> the awesome will. He's well equipped too. Look at this. Why is that grayed out? Does that mean he's, oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go to him for a second. Oh, that's weird. Hold on. What is going on here? Leave control. Why? Oh, weird. He can't use the plus three leather? That's bizarre. Hold on, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong there. But anyway, let's go back. Uh, I just want to go through these quickly. So, we'll, yeah, we'll come back to uh, Da'a with some will, because I don't know why you're not using your leather armor. Maybe he was using, or he's going to get leather armor. Oh, it's not equipped yet. Okay, well, we'll figure it out in a second. And then, Kemadon, <laughs> of course, with Leet speak. Hello. And then we've got... Uh, a couple new vampires, but we've got Night Lexic, he's from last time. Rip, rest in peace, that's kind of ironic considering you're a vampire. Seraphim, Zemerick, Snaps, uh, uh, three new zombies, Mr. Pat, Glory Giggle, and uh, Just Burning, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. And we are soon, we're actually almost to a point now where we're going to start really seriously expanding our dungeon and actually allowing it so that we have more than 14 population. Right now, I'm pretty happy with the way things are. We just got fit, we just got through another attack against lizard men, and we've we're actually doing quite well. But now, okay, so yeah, we got to watch the cape bar. Oh, right, we right, right. Now remember. So if you listen carefully to my voice, listen very carefully. Do you notice a difference? My cold is gone. <gasps> oh, this is the worst cold ever. Well, it wasn't the worst cold ever, but I was so stuffed up. I haven't been so stuffed up in a long time, so I'm kind of hoping I can get back to normal with videos this week. Uh, last week was just absolute chaos. Oh, hold on one second, guys. There we go. So, here's the plan. Now that my cold's almost done, <laughs> um, I'm going to try and make up for it this week. I'm going to try and edit a few more videos, so that should be fun. And or make my videos a little bit longer, just because... Uh, the videos have been pretty short lately, and especially you know when I had a cold, I really. Oh, oh, the imps! Oh, right. So the imps aren't picking up all of these corpses that are rotting away in the passageways, causing miasma or poison gas. <laughs> now, in, in case you didn't know, imps are immune to poison. They're kind of like they have. It's actually one of their special abilities. They. Uh, where does it say? Uh, Poison resistant, there we go. And of course you can get uh, potions of poison resistance and, and jewelry and stuff. And speaking of that, it's time to start expanding the dungeon. So we are going to go to our library and we're gonna research, we're gonna research uh, two-handed weapons because we've got tons and tons of mana, well not tons, but lots of mana from the last few attacks from the bad guys, we got, or good guys rather. We got, uh, we're gonna get the jewelry, we're gonna get alchemy. Okay, so that will open up a number of new workshops the uh, two-handed swords, that doesn't work out, work, uh, open up a new workshop, it just makes it so this workshop builds two-handed weapons, which is awesome for the big guys, for like the ogres and stuff. I think the orcs can use them too, I, I could be wrong on that. But okay, so let's get... <laughs> we are starting to build some of the more advanced stuff. Ah, the jeweler. Now, th what's great about jewelry is it's, it's better than potions because it's a permanent effect. Um, as long as the creature is wearing the object. Uh, do we have... Uh... Now we've got enough. Let's see, we need uh, jewelry is wood, laboratory, which is potions. Potions are really effective and the AI is actually really good at using these things. And uh, we're just gonna leave those that size for now. Oh, uh, we need to make sure that we get our 
torch is in there. That will make sure it's nice and efficient <laughs> for our minions. Hold on. Ah, oh, the silly thing. There we go. Yeah, I'm still a little stuffed up, but it's it's for the most part it's gone. It was it was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. I got, I'm not gonna lie to you. This was this was one of the worst colds I've had in a long time. Not not the worst cold, but it was it was it was it was worse than normal. Anyway, trying to do videos and stuff was pretty tough. So I'm hoping that I can totally make up for it this week. Uh, all right. So how how's the rest of our torches look pretty good? Somebody was saying to put an eye outside, and I have done that before. But I've noticed a trend, and I maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like as soon as I put an eye outside, um, bad guys start coming for me more often. Oh, 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 pause, pause, pause. Uh, looks like we've discovered a new dungeon. Ha. Uh, right. Okay, so our cave bear <laughs> has gone wandering in here and found gnomes. So that's interesting. So usually gnomes are linked to dwarves. So I bet you the... Maybe it's just dwarves here. I don't know. But... Uh, I don't think gnomes could have killed that dragon. I'm pretty sure it would be dwarves. That's right, the dragon! Oh, that's not right! Okay, um, but we don't want the cave... Well, should we send the cave bear in? All right, let's send the cave bear in. Let's just watch what he does here. Uh, gnomes get eaten pretty... Oh, yes! <laughs> Gnome chief destroyed. So, what's interesting, actually, is at some point in time... Oh, I guess I can keep that going. At some, as soon as you've destroyed an entire culture, but destroying their lord, because once you destroy somebody's lord, they can't attract, or their keeper, I guess you could say, like a human human lord is, is the same thing as my keeper. As soon as the keeper is dead, or the leader is dead, they no longer attract anybody to their cause. Oh, I see. Pause, pause, pause. Uh, the gnome, so there is a, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a cyclops here. But yeah, uh, let's let's just push him into the Cyclops. Go ahead, go into the Cyclops, Mr. Gnome. See if you can handle Mr. Cyclops. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Uh, <laughs> forbid zone. Uh, flee. Uh, who, who who is that anyway? Hold on. Who? Uh, that is Jonas. 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 Um, Jonas K Bear. You better run, dude. No. No. What are you doing? Hold on. Control. Jonas, I'm taking manual control. No, dude. Oh, lizard man. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm currently... Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to bring him right back to the base. But that might be okay, actually. You can, you can really piss off, like, Cyclopses and Dragons, and then they will come back and they will attack your base. So that's always fun. Um, let's just finish this guy off. Yeah, gnomes don't really stand a chance against the cave bear. Um, just like the cave bear wouldn't really stand a chance against a cyclops. Now, with the cave bear, uh, what kind of level is he now? He is... Jonas, you are level 14. That's really good. Okay, so we're just going to let him go. And I, uh, I'm i going to make sure... <laughs> uh, let's, let's put a forbid zone right here. Because we'll just keep him right out of that uh, cyclops area. And... Here's the thing. Now, we're at a point in the game where we've got a nice, a sizable force of undead. We have a lot of vampires. We have, well, relatively speaking, we have a lot of vampires. We have five vampires. I mean, how many how many people can say they have five vampires in their dungeon? So, we're going to start we're going to start babying these guys and let them build up and we're not going to attack right away, but we're going to start to draw some attention from the Oh, what's going on? Oh, lizard men, right. Okay, so lizard men are coming in. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, the We're just going to start eating. Well, I might get rid of the lizard men. Well, they're, they're a good source of XP. That's the thing. So every time the lizard men attack, our our big guys get bigger. You know, we, we get tougher all around, like our harpy. What level is our harpy right now, actually? He is 13. I think they start at 9 or 10, something like that. So he's gained a few levels. Uh, does he have... He's really good with a bow. He doesn't have a bow yet. Oh, he's got a magical weapon called the Skullblar. The Skullblar! Flaming sword named Skullblar. Plus nine damage, plus five accuracy. Well, he doesn't need... He doesn't need a, a bow. Yikes. Okay, so I bet you all these guys picked up some awesome weapons. Uh, let's see. I, I wish I wish you could tell at a glance who has magical stuff. Ooh, he's got more near. More near. Plus 15! <gasps> Holy crap! Okay, yeah. Definitely... Uh, definitely a good choice to go after these uh <laughs> the dragons that's fantastic oh oh did we lose an orc oh no oh no it was it was a lizard man yeah i don't think we 
theoretically, we shouldn't lose anybody now. Maybe a zombie. I don't know. The zombies are pretty tough, though, too. Even against Lizardmen, like... Uh, hold on. Uh, is it nighttime? No, it's it's daytime. All right, let's uh, send out Mr. Harpy. Actually, that's a good idea. Control. Harpy's pretty fast, and I just want to make sure that all of these lizard men are finished. I should be able to catch up to him. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh, I flipped. No way! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you guys, but holy crap, I didn't know that could happen. You swing your flaming sword. The lizard man is cr critically woman. wounded. So blah, blah, blah. The tree catches fire. The lizard man is burnt by fire. The lizard man dies of bleeding. I had no idea that a flaming sword would cause a tree to go on fire. That is awesome! Oh, that's a... Oh, that's great. Okay, leave control. All right, uh, go ahead, and we're going to go collect all these goodies that the lizard man had, too, and all the, the stuff that the gnomes had, too. Why not? So these trees could all burn down, theoretically. I think these these bushes, these little bushes are flammable, too. So theoretically, all of this could burn down, because I think it can go diagonal, too. All right, so let's go get... Hold on. Orders and fetch items. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get all that. Get that, too. I don't know what it is. It might be just bones and stuff, but... And definitely some stuff up here to get. Oh, there's still a hammer up here. Okay, you forgot something, guys. Uh, why? Did, don't we have a forbid zone here? I uh, guess guess we took it off for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so go get that, and I'm gonna do high. Pro I'm gonna high pri prioritize those higher in a second here. Now gnomes aren't considered. Oh, what I was leading to is gnomes aren't considered a uh, civilization. I think they're they're kind of like they're like uh, ah they're like they're like little dobbies, like Dobby the elves for the uh, for the gnomes. Like they they just do stuff for the gnomes. That's ex that's more that's what I picture them as anyway but they they do have a lord and everything but they're they're pretty easy to kill and and uh the what I, the point i was getting at is once you kill an entire civilization by killing their lord you get access to this throne which will give you 10 population limit give you plus 10 but in the meantime you can actually there's a use for gold I, and you I, and some of you that are new to this might be wondering well what do we do with all this great juicy gold that we've got well i'm gonna show you as soon as we finish with all this high priority stuff, I think I'll just do the high priority stuff for the stuff that. Oh well, yeah, see, totally torching the forest. Now, can we cut down these? No, we can't cut. Yeah, okay. So we can't use this burnt down wood. I had no idea that sword would do that. That's so cool. So if you try to bash down a door with that sword, it'll probably catch fire. Oh, I wonder which. I wonder who died. Imps died in that. <laughs> yeah, we're down to six imps again. Oh. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's get more. The nice thing is, when we kill those guys, we get a whole bunch of new ones. And it's time to start laying thrones down. Now, we've got a decent force, uh, defense force, so as our population grows, the more attention we're going to draw here. And I'm okay with that, as long as we've got a decent defense force. We either have to be all defense or all offense. At least that's the way I play the game. And hopefully that'll work. Um, if we're all defense, what it'll mean is they'll just keep throwing units at us, and we'll just keep growing until we're big enough that we are virtually unstoppable. And that's kind of the way we're gonna go here. And hopefully it doesn't backfire because sometimes um, you put down too much stuff and everybody attacks you all at once. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down these, uh, what are they called? Statues. Each statue can raise our population limit by one. So and this is how we dress up our throne room and our treasure room with these beautiful statues. So that, I just put down four statues that'll raise our population limit to 18. Then of course we do some here. And that kind of makes it like a big hall, right? Oh, I love that. So cool. And one in there. So there we go. And that's what you spend your gold on. And eventually, once we've destroyed one civilization, now they will never send the Lord after us, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they won't. But uh, <laughs> uh, that'd be cool if they did, because then we could just defense, d be to play defensively entirely and then kill them. Uh, now, I, did we get all of the materials and stuff? No, we didn't. Okay, there's still some up there that we need to get, so might as well get our imps working on that, too. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah. And, oh yes, there's a question. Oh, I see. So that's, alright, we want this gold. Ha <laughs> ha! We want that gold, like, real bad. So we're just gonna, we're gonna throw caution to the wind. We're gonna make some new passageways and see if we can discover, you know, some areas and stuff. And, why not? I'm feeling pretty confident, although I don't want to make a second entrance into the dungeon. That would not be good. Like, like, our third entrance, or, well, I guess we already have a second entrance. I guess that doesn't matter. But we really should also, yeah, no, 
No, no, we're, we're doing all the right things. With our population growing, my hope is that we get some more guys that can work in the workshops as well. And we definitely need to expand our manufacturing now. Our manufacturing needs to be bigger than our other workshops. That way we attract more guys in the manufacturing, in, sorry, in the workshop than we do in, like, say, the uh, jewelry place. The jeweler. Uh, because the jewelry, jewelry is important, but uh, there's way more use for traps, uh, just generally speaking, and traps and stuff like that. Well, I don't know, it's debatable. But the thing is, once you get everybody equipped with jewelry, or we capture jewelry and armor and weapons from, from good guys or bad guys, then we don't really need them anymore, right? So, okay. Good, good, awesome. And we need to build some imps. Uh, let's just check our tech, see if there's anything. Oh, we could go for sorcery now. Advanced alchemy, since we've got it. Let's do that. Let's do that. We've got our advanced alchemy now. So now when guys do start working in the jeweler, they will be building the really good jeweler. So I feel confident that we could expand that out to its big size now. Ha ha ha. Very good. Very, very good. All right. We've got quite the, quite the thing going on here. Oh, we also need to make sure that we get all these traps placed too. Uh, definitely need a trap here. I am really looking forward to when they start uh, when when uh, they start expanding the array, the arsenal of traps that you can have. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I think we'll do trap there, trap here. I think uh, yeah, we'll do definitely do another trap. That's weird. Why did I put two doors there? That's that's bizarre. Or is that a bug? Because I don't remember doing that. I do not remember that at all. Yeah, so uh, somebody was saying in chat, yes, the, the, prisoners, uh, the prisoner system is not completely fleshed out. Night is falling. Okay, so now that night's falling, we could actually... Uh, we probably got a whole bunch of new guys. Let's just see here. Uh, Raven. <laughs> I'm not going to name the Raven because he'll die pretty quickly. That's, that's just kind of a waste. Uh, I will name the Imps. I'll be right back. I'm going to name these guys. Okay, yeah, I changed my mind. We are naming the Raven. I have so many names. I have to make, I want to make sure that I'm trying to get everybody in there. And if you died, there's no way for me to tell. I mean, I, 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 I know Imps died. I couldn't tell you who died. I could probably go through my list and figure it out, but I, I'm leaving it up to you guys to kind of keep track of where you are <laughs> because, uh, because people are dying quickly and it doesn't, it doesn't, when it doesn't, it just tells you that an orc produces a sword. It doesn't tell you the name, which that needs to be fixed. It needs to be uh, you know, it needs to be uh, Kairos Blade, the orc, produces a sword. That's what it needs to say. Or Kairos Blade got into a fight or died or whatever. You know, th there needs to be some upgrades in that. Oh, why is there a torture remote here? Weird! Weird stuff happening! Okay, so let's get rid of that. <laughs> That's bizarre. Okay, might as well turn the uh, speed on here. Oh, we are going to make a group and maybe, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go out and we'll actually go attack the village. That'll inspire them to attack our dungeon. And because it's nighttime, let's bring out oh, an army of undead. Yeah. All right. Uh, not everybody has weapons here yet. Really? All right, snaps. I don't know what you're. Oh. <laughs> okay. So this is something that reminds me of Dwarf Fortress and other things like this. Poor snaps here. Um, I. Poor Snaps, where is he? Uh, Snaps, oh it doesn't, ah, it doesn't even tell you the name on this. Okay, uh, anyway, Snaps, <laughs> he is a one, he's, he's a one, yeah, he's a one armed, a one injured armed, one legged, undead, who's very merry. <laughs> he's very, ha I am very, very happy. <laughs> oh, jeez. oh, Snaps. Oh, Snap. So, uh, actually what I'm gonna do, <laughs> I can banish him. It's probably the best thing to do. Ah, oh, snaps. Oh man. Uh, or maybe we will we will throw you in front. No, no, no. I'm sorry, we, snaps. I feel really bad, and I hate to do this, but you're no longer useful to the dungeon. And I'm sorry. I have to let you go. It's not you. It's me. I feel like this is a breakup. This is terrible. All right, banish. Uh, do you want to banish this vampire? Banishing has a negative impact. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have a negative impact. All right. Well, okay. We're, we're going to take him out. And maybe we can get him. You know, he can die. I was going to say get him killed, but no. We're going to get him to die valiant, valiantly in battle. 
So uh, we're going to use, I, again, it doesn't tell you your names of your guys here, so you just kind of got to go by the level. So we know Snaps is level 9. Whoops. Ah, hold on. Ah, oh, nope, nope, nope. What is going on here? Um, we want, hold on, uh, stop, stop time for a second. All right, so there's our vampires. We're going to add some zombies. They're really slow, but, you know. I, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be an undead army without zombies, right? We're gonna take the harpy. Oh, maybe we should make the harpy the leader. The harpy is quite tough, and he's got a really kick-ass weapon. All right, so there we go. The harpy is the leader, and away we go. We're gonna send this group out to go torment the countryside. Where are we gonna go? Well, let's go see. Uh, oh, the humans are here. I don't. Well, I don't think we're tough enough to take on humans. I wish I knew exactly where those lizard men were because I would go crush them. I would go hurt them so badly. Uh, I think they're probably over here. Oh, those stuff. Rat corpses. No, I don't care about rat corpses. Um, the I think, yeah, the elves are here. I don't want to risk... The humans are just way too tough. They are way too tough for us right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send the... Uh, was there anything up here? Well, we could go after the dwarves. They're pretty tough too, though. I wonder what these are. You know what? We're going on. We're get <laughs> throwing caution to the wind. We're doing something that I shouldn't do. Uh, we're gonna send our group out. There we go. <sighs> dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Okay, here goes our army of undead. Brains, brains. Oh, did we miss a zombie? Oh no. We missing on dead? What? Wow, they just seem to be going really slow here. So leave control. Hold on. Activate. Come on, guys. Wow, the harpy's so fast compared to everybody. Maybe I shouldn't make harpy. Oh, there's lizard men. There was lizard men attacking. That's funny. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, maybe they do live over there. Actually, I'm going to send the group here. So we can follow that guy home. Ah, lizard man. Hello. Um, uh, that is not the lizard man. That is the elves. So we got to be careful around the elves. The elves will do, uh, do terrible things to this group. But, you know, maybe... I don't know. Maybe we can find the lizard man up here. I bet you they're on the other side of the elves. I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Uh, we could go after, finish off the gnomes. That's not a bad idea. Let's go finish off the gnomes. That seems like a good first quest for this group. I get a little indecisive. Like, I want to I want to attack somebody, but I don't know who. A zombie joins our force. Okay, that's good. Um, he could come with us right away, but I think we'll just let him go get acclimated. And the nice thing is, if we kill off all of the gnomes that are here, oh, there could be dwarves here too. I don't know. All right, come on, guys. Wow, this is a long journey for zombies. Zombies, zombies, zombies are slow. They're very, very slow. Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't take them along next time. Maybe, I don't know, leave them for leave them for home defense. Maybe that's that's what I'll do with the zombies. Uh, whoops, Harpy, no. Uh, how can I remove somebody? There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna leave this, we're gonna send the zombies home. It doesn't make sense. They're just they're just too slow. And we're gonna send in our harpy and our vampires. This should be good because we got some magic weapons as well. And we can go get these loot chests. <gasps> Leather plus one. Who cares? Uh oh, that's gloves. Yeah, I'll take that, sure. And equip. <laughs> uh beds. Oh. Uh sword. Uh chief. Oh, norm chief. Okay. Uh so, oh, some healing salves or whatever they are. First aid kits. Uh, gnome corpse and a chest. I love chests. Oh, a potion of speed. I might just use that. If we get it, if, especially if there's dwarves here, we are using our potion of speed because that will be, just be awesome. <gasps> okay, that's a gnome. Dun, 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 Hello, Mr. Gnome. Oh, oh, oh. That's a gnome chief and a gnome level one. Uh, I think I can probably take the gnome chief one on one. Oh, another gnome. Okay, so gnome chief is attack 22, defense nine. I am attack 30, defense 27 with a flaming sword. <laughs> and I'm merry and I'm flying. 
It says Mary. Sorry, you can see on the bottom right it says I'm Mary. I am Mary because I'm about to eat gnomes. Yum! <laughs> Flaming sword hit. Gnome wakes up. The gnome chief wakes up. What? Oh, he was sleeping! Oh, that's awesome! The Oh, he was on his bed! The bed catches fire. The gnome chief is burnt by the fire. Oh, that's awesome! Um... Oh. <gasps> uh, cut his leg off. The gnome collapses. Gnome is crawling. Gnome's head is chopped off. <laughs> there was just a, there's heads and court legs and <laughs> uh, I miss. Flaming sword cut. Harmless. Really? Oh, didn't mean to do that. And here comes my vampires. Be careful, vampires around the fire. Do not step in the fire. Okay, they do avoid the fire. I was kind of worried about that, because sometimes undead, good, smart undead are hard to find. Okay, so he's just a, a level one. Oh, these poor guys. Oh, yummy. Uh, oh, and they're all sleeping. This is so great. And when they're sleeping, we get way more mana. Uh, gnome's head is chopped off. The gnome is killed. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, loot chest. And we, we'll go check the loot for the uh, chief, too, because there might have been something good on the chief. Just money, and a potion of blindness. Ah, neat. And a, and a gnome leg. <laughs> Let's go see what... Oh, I can't see what the chief has yet. Because uh, his bed's on fire. I guess that's it. Well, we... Uh, we uh, Oh, let's get out of here before that miasma starts to kick in. That could be a problem. Come, my minions. Yeah, my, my vampires didn't really get to do much there. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna go near the Cyclops. Cyclops is fine, and we'll just collect whatever loot was there from the Gnome Chief. He probably didn't have anything great anyway. But this might kind of annoy the uh, the dwarves. This, often what happens is when you attack the gnomes, the dwarves show up at your front door all of a sudden. <laughs> and they, they're angry. Alright, come! Come! Alright, we're going north. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, still only level 14. Okay, yeah, it's taking a lot to move up in levels now for this guy. Oh. Ah, I guess we get to test to see if the door will go on fire if we bash it. I bash the door. I bash the door. Nope. It did not set the door on fire. So this is like peasants. These are peasant houses. <gasps> My favorite! Mmm, peasants. Taste like chicken. <laughs> you swing your flaming sword. The peasant wakes up. The peasant is wounded. The bed catches fire. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I am so sadistic. I swear. Uh, ooh, nice big hammer. Um, yeah, we'll just save that for the guys to pick up. I don't, you can get overweights or o overloaded, so you don't want to carry too much stuff. But we've got to see what's in the... The gnomes, or our imps won't open the chest, so... That's a knife. It's a throwing knife. Fascinating. We will take that. I don't know if we'll keep it or not, but a potion of levitation. Interesting. Uh, we could probably cross water with that. Yes. Healing. Uh, it doesn't really matter with a harpy, but whatever. Uh, all right. So let's go. We're probably getting tons of mana. Oh, kill the dog. Hellhounds. A horse. Horsey. I want to go for a ride. Horsey. Horsey. It looks like, you know, looks, looks very cartoony. Like a My Little Pony Pony. <laughs> Yum. Nom, nom. <laughs> I think there was like three of them. Or we just kept chopping off parts of it. <laughs> There's the leg, an arm. A co or horses have arms? Okay, whatever. I, 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 the, the corpse, the head, and the arm, and the leg. All in different spots. So I'm not just... <gasps> Ooh, dragon. Dragon. Careful. Careful. Very zealous right now. <laughs> Ooh, run, 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 run. No, no. No. No, 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 leave control. No, what are you guys doing? Don't go after the dragon. Ah, oh, it's my fault. That's <laughs> so my fault. <gasps> Did we lose? Oh, no. Ah, uh, Solvignar. Solvignar is a red dragon. Dog vampire killed by Solvignar. So, oh, it's, it's weird. I can't. Ha, sol, sol, solven, solven, not, maybe it's pronounced Sylvanir. I don't know. Vampire. So we lost two vampires. Oh, so irritating. 
I didn't tell them to go attack the stupid dragon, but it's my fault. I should. I knew it was there too. I could have totally avoided it. Uh, and that might piss off the dragon enough to want to attack the base. Uh, that's not good. All right, so let's <laughs> let's forbid this. Uh, let's do a nice. Uh, let's do a nice wide berth on that one. Let's, let's go like that. All the way up and around. That way our imps don't accidentally run into Sylvanair. Totally my fault. Totally my fault. Okay, so and we'll save our vampire here. He's missing two <laughs> He has he's missing his arms. Ah, unbelievable! So he can't even carry anything anymore? Well, he obviously can't wear gloves. <laughs> oh man! Okay, well he can attack! <laughs> Whoa! Crazy! You miss Sylvanir. Sylvanir bites. You are not hurt. Sylvanir bites. Your head is bitten off. Oh! I'm still alive. How can I still rip the blind vampire? He's missing. He's missing his head, two arm, and he's just still attacking. He's like, ah! <laughs> that was awesome, by the way. That was fantastic. Unfortunately, we lost all of our vampires. Ah, oh, that was crappy. All right, we're gonna finish this mission. Hell or high water, we're gonna finish this mission. We lost all of our vampires. That sucks, man. Um, I think what we're gonna do, actually. Nah, it's fine. We should send off our other vampire, Snaps, who, who doesn't have uh, any arms and stuff. We should send him to go, I don't know, <laughs> attack the dragon too. Unfortunately, what happens is, or what can happen, is that the dragon gets mad enough that he comes and attacks uh, your base, right? And that can be bad, unless you've got like rock traps and stuff, like boulder traps. Boulder traps will make short work of a dragon. I think, uh, at least they have in the past for me, <laughs> get too cocky in this game this is what happens everybody dies but I told you everybody's gonna die and everybody's gonna die over and over so that's why I needed lots of names ooh somebody's sleeping <laughs> you swing your flaming sword the child wakes up the child's head is chopped off the child is killed this is such a brutal game I love roguelikes I love it I love it uh, chest is full of rats seriously these people like to hold on to their rats it's so funny uh, blindness uh, uh, potion of blindness, potion of slowness. <laughs> well, at least, you know, okay, I guess we're not going to do the defensive thing quite yet, like where I try and attract the attention of everybody, although this may draw some attention to our keep. Um, the simple fact that... Oh. Yeah, they're still sleeping, critically wounded, so I'm just reading here. Dies bleeding. Brutal. Everybody's on fire. Uh, that's a downside to a flaming sword, actually, because now I can't loot those. But yes, we're out of time. Yes, my phone's going off here. Uh, insect summoning. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, man. Sometimes I forget you can even do that. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, well, let's go get this chest before this whole thing's going to burn down. That sucks. Oh, 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 miasma. Oh, horse is attacking. A horse is a horse, a horse, of course. All right, uh, looks like we're damaged a little bit. We will use a... Yeah, there we go. That heals us up. It doesn't show our hit points, which would be nice. It'd be nice to see your hit points. You can tell by the color of the creature, like as soon as he starts to turn a little bit red, you know that you're uh, in rough shape. Pigs! Yum. Yum! A pig leg. <laughs> Horse. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, that I probably... The thing is, I'm still only level 14. I am sure... Oh, boy. That's not going to be good. Okay, so we're going to send him home. Actually, we're going to leave control. And we're going to send Mr. Harpy back home. Uh, it's a, he's done as much damage as he could possibly do out here. Uh, okay. We lost... I can't believe we... Oh, we still have... Wait. Who's that? Okay, hold on. Vampire. Uh, vampire 12. Where are you? What? Why are you back home? How? He has a witch corpse on him? That's bizarre. Hold on, leave control. Vampire. 
He's happy. He just didn't. He just didn't come. He's just like, I'm not going anywhere. Why didn't you leave? You made the right choice, and he's got a really good weapon too. So I'm really glad he stayed home. That's bizarre. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not complaining because, uh, well, you saw what happened there. It wasn't good. We're just gonna send our harpy home. Actually, uh, we're gonna remove all the vampires from the group here, and we're just gonna send Mr. Harpy back home. <laughs> I wish it was an easier way to do this. There we go. Holding down the right mouse button and dragging is the easier way. And we're going to send our harpy back home here. Lizard men are attacking and they are immune to poison. We almost shouldn't waste our time with these poison traps until the lizard men are gone. We have enough defenses, I think. Oh, yeah, actually, let's just take control. The thing is, you can't use sorcery if we take control. That's That's the downside. Advanced alchemy. Oh. oh darn it, I, I forgot we had that. We could have just done that instead of the, uh, instead of uh, learning it through the library. We could have just used the thingy. Okay, that was a bad choice. Let's move back a little bit. That way only one can attack us at the same time. Yeah, that hammer is just awesome. Leadfield Warhammer. <laughs> Lizard Man's skull is shattered. And they're crawling away. A lot of miasma here. This was an awesome episode. I really enjoyed this. This was great. Um, we have a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. Um, as soon as yeah, Harpy's back home. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. I can't believe we lost all those vampires, and we didn't even get a level for our Harpy. Yeah, he's still level 14. We got a lot of loot to, to go pick up, but man, we got a long way to go. Okay, guys, we're going to call that an episode, and maybe, maybe, maybe that will draw some humans to us in the morning. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. Take care.